right here is some of that lithium grease that we were talking about and there you can see that we've got squeeze out on uh, both sides nice gooey squeeze out there so we can't get around to the back side now and there we have squeeze out along that side there all the way back there to the action here along this along the uh, ejector side ejector port right here along this part we've also got squeeze out <clears throat> we've got squeeze out on the barrel up here so that's pretty much everything that we have right there now that stuff takes about all oh, 24 hours it should take it should be left alone uh, to dry out and uh, I'll come back to it and we can um, uh, see how it comes apart hopefully uh, uh, the uh, lithium grease works uh, if not I'll be buying this guy another rifle <laughs> but it will I'm sure of it okay so that's about the first part of how to uh, bed a rifle. Uh, there are other ways. People use other methods. They use other uh, compounds to do so. Uh, Acroglass is a very uh, common uh, product used in that. Um, the, mo the most important part about this bedding job is ensuring that uh, whatever compound you use does not have any way to stick to the action or um, you'll end up with... Um, uh, an action glued into your rifle into your rifle stock uh, and while wood can be whittled away and you can salvage it uh, composite stocks is a different uh, animal altogether and you'll spend a lot more time uh, getting getting action back out of a composite stock or um, a laminated stock or anything uh, of, of that nature <clears throat> uh, and of course you want good squeeze out all around uh, you want to have adequate protection so that the uh, the material does not uh, contact, uh, you know, uh, on top of the barrel up here where uh, it has some uh, spray, uh, but it has not been very uh, coated um, a lot. Right here it has. Uh, I usually go around about 180 degrees from one side to the other and get a little bit more. Um, but as you can see, um, it, what's good to note is that the lithium grease is coming out on top of the um, the squeeze out there which indicates that uh, it's being it's being pressed off the action now it hasn't been removed off of the action um, this lithium grease you'll have to remove it with probably something like uh, oh use some starter fluid or some MEK or some uh, uh, alcohol uh, any any type of uh, harsh cleaning compound uh, provided that it's it will not uh, damage your action or anything so there we have it um, as a, as I said before, um, C clamps offer more pressure. Uh, we'll get uh, I you you may or may not have been able to get this same type of squeeze out with the action screws, but I know that there's a lot of force on these now, and it's squeezing uh, rather rather tightly uh, the action to the stock. So I know there's a good strong seal in there.